Hello friends, today in this video we are going to start a new topic that is MCQs on bacterial disease. Okay, so, and this is the part one of this series of videos. So the first question is worldwide TB is caused by Mycobacterium bovis, Mycobacterium africanum, Mycobacterium tuberculosis or all of the above and the right answer about the worldwide TB that is caused by option D that is all of the above so TB is caused by all of these microorganisms okay so move on to the next question that is which of the following bacterium causes peptic ulcer and the options are Campylobacter jejuni, Staphylococcus aureus, Borrelia burgdorferi or Helicobacter pylori so the right answer is option D that is Helicobacter pylori. So Helicobacter pylori is a bacterium which causes peptic ulcer. Okay. So next question they can get. So next question is which of the following bacterium causes human early uh, Ehrlichiosis? And the options are Ehrlichia caffensis, Staphylococcus aureus, Borrelia burgdorferi. Or Helicobacter pyrole, pyrole, pylori and the option and the right answer is option A that is Arlicia caffensis okay so move on to the next question that is which of the following bacterium causes gastroenteritis enteritis and the options are Campylobacter jejuni Staphylococcus aureus Borrelia burgdorferi or Helicobacter pylori and the right answer is option A that is Campylobacter jejuni. So Campylobacter jejuni is a bacterium which causes gastroenteritis. Okay. So next question they can get. So next question here. Which of the following bacterium causes toxic shock syndrome and the options are Campylobacter jejuni, Staphylococcus aureus, Borrelia burgdorferi or Helicobacter pylori and the right answer is option B that is Staphylococcus aureus or so Staphylococcus aureus cause toxic shock syndrome okay so next question here Staphylo Staphylococcal food poisoning is the major type of food intoxication in the United States India Africa or Europe and the right answer is option A that is the United States. So in A. So staphylococcal food poisoning is the major type of food intoxication in United States. So next question they can get. Next question is the major causative agent of travelers diarrhea is Vivrio cholerae, Vivrio parahemolyticus, Escherichia coli or Salmonella entry disease and the right answer is option C that is Escherichia coli is known as the traveler's diarrhea and the causative agent of traveler's diarrhea okay so move on to the next one that is which of the following bacterium causes Lyme disease and the options are Campylobacter jejuni, Staphylococcus aureus, Borrelia burgdorferi or Helicobacter pylori and the right answer is option C that is Borrelia burgdorferi is the is the bacterium causes Lyme disease okay so next question here which of the following bacterium causes human cat scratch disease and the options are Escherichia caffensis or Staphylococcus aureus or Bartonella hensel or Helicobacter pylori and the right answer is option C that is Bartonella hensel is the is cause causes human cat scratch disease okay so next question they can get next question here typhoid fever is caused by Salmonella enterica serovar typhi Salmonella serovar typhineurium typhimurium or Helicobacter pylori or both A and B and the right answer about the typhoid fever is caused by 
option A that is Salmonella enterica serover typhi. Okay, so next one is laboratory diagnosis of typhoid fever is by demonstration of typhoid bacilli in blood, urine, stool or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So laboratory diagnosis of typhoid fever is demonstrated by typhoid bacilli in blood, urine and stool. Okay. So move on to the next one. It is which of the following holds true for diphtheria bacterium and the options are it is a good positive bacterium, airborne nasopharyngeal mode of infection or harbors prophage toxin or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above are correct about the diphtheria bacterium that is it is a gram positive bacterium it is a airborne nasopharyngeal mode of infection we can see by diphtheria and it harbors prophage toxin okay so these are all characteristics of diphtheria bacterium so move on to the next one microorganisms associated with dental infection are called skeletal pathogens or hepa dna pathogens odonto pathogens or ortho pathogens and the right answer is option c that is odonto pathogen so microorganisms associated associated with dental infection are called odonto pathogens okay so move on to the next one that is bacteria that cause acute bacterial diarrhea and food poisoning and the options are clostridium botulinum vivrio cholerae shigella species or all of the above and the right one is option d that is all of the above are correct so bacteria that cause acute bacterial diarrhea and food poisoning and the bacterium responsible for responsible for this is Clostridium botulinum, Vavrio cholerae, and Cigala species, all of the above. So, next question they can get. So, number 15 is which of the following holds true for Legionella pneumophilia, pneumophila bacterium? And the options are it is nutritionally fastidious gram positive bacterium, or it is a gram negative rod, or bacteria is found in soil water or air conditioners or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above are correct. So, so all of these are holds true all are true for Legionella pneumophila bacterium. Okay. So, move on to the next question. Number 16 is which of the following bacterium can grow and multiply in amoeba monocytes and macrophages and the options are Legionella pneumophila or Staphylococcus aureus or Borrelia burgdorferi or Helicobacter pylori and the right answer is option A that is Legionella pneumophila. So Legionella pneumophila is a bacterium which can grow and multiply in amoeba monocytes and macrophages okay. So let's see the number 16 mcq that is staphylococcus aureus is resistant to heat drying and radiation number b that is found in the nozzle passages and on the skin of humans and mammals worldwide number c that is cause causes food to intoxication in cooked food by toxins or number D all of the above and the right answer about the Staphylococcus aureus is number D that is all of the above okay so let's move on to the next question that is number 18 so it is which of the following is or are toxin produced by Staphylococcus aureus and the options are enterotoxin A and B enterotoxin C1 and C2, enterotoxin D and E or all of the above and the right one is option D that is all of all of the above are correct about the toxin produced by Staphylococcus aureus. 
so next question is number 19 and it is recommended antibiotics for legionellar disease is rifampin erythromycin or both a and b or neither a nor b and the right answer is option c that is both a and b that is the recommended antibiotics for legionellar disease is rifampin and erythromycin okay so move on to the last question of this part of, of this part of video that is this part so number 20 is prevention of legio legionaries disease is includes cleaning water containing devices chlorination elimination of environmental sources of bacterium or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so prevention for legionellar disease includes cleaning water containing devices chlorination elimination of environmental source of bacterium so all are correct about this legionella disease okay so these are all 20 questions of this part one video for mcqs on bacterial disease okay so thank you for watching this video